Mid A. Wait, you were right. Dendi has picked up the ancient operation. Wait, so. And that means Seneko will play the Vengeful Spirit as a support. I don't know. Aren't you just super susceptible to being gone on by Earth Spirit Quap and then later on Weaver? You know, we saw this earlier on in this season, I think. This season of Dream League. And nobody was really, I still don't need to go into And I was going to have a whole, a whole beautiful story, but then we had to hurry, so I'm picking VP. Two, three VPs. But who knows? They did it before. Can Navi prove us wrong once again? Over to Odi Pixel and Fog. Thank you very much, GVS. Yeah, the final game of the day here. VP versus Navi, and we're ready to go. And indeed, it is the classic, the Navi speciality, Dendi. Well, I say Navi, we've seen other teams try it, but let's be honest. Dendi, he, he's the class one. Back up, what was it? Was TI2? TI1? You remember, Fog, you were around there. What, what was the original? TI1, TI1, right? When Dendi. TI1. TI1. There TI1. wasn't many heroes in the pool. You were quite limited. You were struggled. You were quite struggling limited. For mid. He did it in Dota 1, though, as well. Yeah. Back oh, in Dota okay. 1, he used to play it all the time in the mid lane. Back when the hero was, of course, a little bit different. The interaction with Cold Feet, Chung Touch also was entirely different. And he was actually looking for a first blood. He skills up Chilling Touch. Usually, Dendi gets Cold Feet at level 1. Okay. A bit of a change up. In the mid lane. Chilling Touch obviously uh, did change how it works a little bit with that. Attack speed loss no longer being there. Still yeah. less of a punch, but still very, very good for, for a Less of a one punch, play. and it adds, it slows for 0.3. Oh, yeah, it well. does. Yeah, it does do that little bit of slow. And they're looking for Pasha here. He's got the stun. Seneco can oh, close the gap. Oh, he can skill repel. Yep, and he he's will. got a skill just in case. He's got to. And he's 305 movement speed. Bench only 299. And they can't chase that. Yeah. Can't catch it. No one on the high ground as well. They will claim themselves the bounty rune, the but now VP steps in, they're gonna claim the opposing one, no one. Oh, so goes blink, jumps on the high ground. Hey, that's, that's three fun. for VP. Three times. So the mid AA, he can get very punished by Queen of Pain and Earth for rotations. Oh, so he can actually dive. It doesn't, dive doesn't really seem like an easy lane. No. no, and also the last time we saw the mid AA, it, the mid AA it was versus, uh, I think it was Timbersaw, Underlord, and Timbersaw. Yeah, so it's Timbersaw, Under, Underlord, and Alchemist cores. So the AA was incredibly good versus all three cores on the line of Secret was when they were picked it uh, in Star Ladder. This time around, it's not really the best versus the three cores on the side of VP. It's good versus, of course, versus the Omni and Dazzle, but yeah, I don't know. It's gonna we're gonna see how, how it actually ends up working, but I think it's gonna be a little bit different. This time. Bottom tower is under attack. Pasha gets the lane pull. Sinego is trying to stop it, and yeah, and as we see the the battle between Roger and the Earth Spirit, but. Pasha was able to get that creep wave behind his tower. He denies the range creep. So Pasha on the Omni Knight will be able to get a good chunk of experience in that bottom lane. Roger. Lane to secure a nice easy start for Dendi. And I tell you what, Dendi. Big crush now. I think he was using one of the chilling touch to get that CS. He's 7 for 3 yep. against the 1 for 1. Yeah, no one having that blink skill. Not doing any less hits. Daggers out, but I think Roger, he will uh, he'll be more than happy to tank that dagger. Yeah. Have to watch Dendi. Lil's movements around that mid lane. Keep that pressure down. Roger's gonna have to more than likely just sit mid to make sure that Dendi doesn't get rolled and collapsed on. We'll see how this progresses though. He already has the double null, so he will have that damage advantage on Dendi, and they get the D ward on that mid lane, so there's no more high ground vision for no one in mid. Yeah, Dendi, 10 and 3 to the 3 and 2 of the Queen of Pain. Daniel. Bill rolls in, tries to get the bounty. Sineko stuns him though, and Sineko will get the secondary rune as well. And as this is happening, Solo is being chased with the TP. Roger also able to steal the bounty rune from up there as well. So again, they spawn and 3. Sineko heals both runes and gives him the taunt. Bill might get the killer. He's gonna, so he's gonna roll again in five seconds. He can. Oh. The oh. he's getting punished by Dendi. Dendi with the haste now. Sony, no one out, no one. He's five and three. He's getting decimated. Absolutely handled in this mid lane matchup by Dendi Zaya. Sure, there's been a bit of a look in from uh, Roger yeah. and, and uh, up until now, where we will see Lil going to roll onto Roger. 
Roger turning. Wolfie's there. On to Lil. Is it going to proc? Keeps himself alive with the soul rip. Quick to counter. No one to keep the quad back. He's got minus 12 strength, so every single right click does that much more damage onto no one at the moment. Roger's been playing this matchup very nicely, coming in and, and just drawing the entirety of the attention away from Den. All three lanes going huh? very smoothly for Navi at the moment. Although it's zero, 0 they already have claimed themselves a 1k experience and 1k gold advantage. And now, getting rolled on. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yes, no one has to back. blink away. And with the distance, you know, no one's had to blink away to. Dendi, it's gonna be fine. No one can't stick around him. Fine, any sort of follow-up damage, so the AA survives. And he's cool to stay. He's gonna have to go back to base. Okay. Yeah, he can't he can't risk it versus Queen of Pain or Spirit. Yeah, he did have the... He had a few one charges, but yeah, I just... Best of play. Hey, if it does get the free lane to, to Roger, get some some level on the young guy. Yeah, this is where this is what we would normally expect to see. Like AA walks up, you get rolled on, you get shadow strike. It's, it's very tough for you to actually do anything. But he is doing incredibly well in the last hits because of Roger sitting in that mid lane. Good start for Navi. Top lane, nature's profit. Yeah, doing great. He's getting uh, gone on rather aggressively here. Ramsey's got to be careful because the Nako is dead. In fact, Ramsey he's just trapped up by the creeps. He's got one more Shaku trying to get himself out of there. In fact, always he was thinking about turning and going back in for general. A little low, so we will heal him up. Did, I, did Sinego get stuck inside of a creep wave there? Because he looked like he was trying to close the gap on Ramsey's, but he couldn't to get the stun or any type of extra damage. I guess so, yeah, because as you say, it was very close. He was rotating from above, and then he just started attacking the, uh, the Scarab, and now Sinego. In some trouble here, getting dove by the Weaver, yeah. by Dazzle. General's had to TP out. And indeed, with that, Snake has been left in the will come back in, but the first bug goes to Rams. General Lee's finds the kill and return onto Solo. And in the mid lane? Okay. It's a mid lane, no one. No one got burst. Did Solo kill? No, he got, he got killed Roger by Roger okay. and. I guess maybe the bonus damage from the Soul Rip just caught him off guard with the level 2 decay. Maybe under Ice Vortex as well. I didn't Radiant's actually catch that when I was looking for the Good dive. Bit of mistakes coming out. No one. 25-15 on Dendi, 13-9 for the Queen of Pain. I was just, just this one point in the chilling touch just seems to be really nice, but yeah. there's guaranteed CSs and denies. Safe. Yeah, and Roger just, you know, Roger sitting hey, in the mid lane. And the fact is a big scary zombie man. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder for no one to actually bully out Dendi because he can use the sword of defensively, offensively, top, general. And bottom as well. We have kills all over the place. They're making our poor observer suffer. I say, every time someone dies somewhere, someone dies somewhere else. Five. No one's in level four now, and Roger gets a haste rune, and he runs directly at no one again. No one. Dropping dangerous low, and now the TP from General. Oh, with the wraparound, no one's gone. He accepts his fate. That, he know. knows that there's no way out of that. They they went four mid on him. They are really trying to make sure that Dendi has a good start here. And they're doing so. They're doing a very good job at it. So low and Lil. Now BP, yeah, positioned on that high ground. They want to be able to try to get that kill back. No one, I mean, no one needs kills to get back into this lane. He does not have a TP even to TP back out. Oh, then he will get level 6 while the team of game is still level 4. And they can start threatening because they have Chronosphere at the ready with Crystallize. So they can set up for those kills. And Crystallize has queued up a Battle Fury. So he's looking for that farm. They want to go for the late game. Seems to be a new like a new build on the majority of the melee characters that we've seen. Let's get that B Fury out. You know that no one needs help, but he, he's not really getting it at all. We saw Lil and Solo sort of hang around, but that was when no one was dead. I mean, now it's, he's got a damage disadvantage, yeah. he's got a level disadvantage, and there's still just two sitting mid. He can't actually do much here. Once Dendi has that level six, no one has to be careful. One, this blink. Look, look at that. He's just, I mean, it's three decay stacks up. The clarity running on Roger. They've got high ground vision as well. Everything, when you have that many stacks of. Okay, everything just does more damage to you. Your health pool is lower. Oh, here's the help that he needs. Lil and Solo coming in. They're looking to try and offer something. But uh, Nature's Wrath from the cave for Roger comes through. And now Lil and Solo, they've got to back up. Solo pops the grave. Goes for the TP out. And he will make it. But uh, as we're seeing, BP 
massively struggling when it comes to actually trying to, to sort of swing around the momentum of this mid lane. I thought Dendi was going to wand and uh, throw the ultimate there on top of the TP and Dazzle, but actually didn't even go for it. A golden break. Pasha's shown up to the fray. He is sitting near the mid lane too. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So no one, they have to catch, try to catch him back up by with some kills. It's just absolutely needed. I, a blast is throwing someone. Radiant are scanning. He was hunting and now mid. Pasha and Invis on Lil. They are looking to try to catch out Dendi, but the ward, I believe, spotted out Pasha for a moment. Playing a bit more defensive. Bash is off in the mid lane, Roger. Will lose his life, Chris Lies. He's got the chrono. He's looking for an opportunity. Drops it down onto the Omni Knight. Takes him out to put the magic missile onto no one. Ice Blast. Not going to connect there. The thing goes back up. DP. Not doing well here. It's pretty much just Ramsey's just having a great time farming. Pasha suffering. Yeah. Not, I mean, he said enough about no one coming in the mid lane again. Just gets. They still get, I mean, he looked like he was out of there, no one, but he hangs around. The Ice Vortex plus Nature's Prophet Dyer's ultimate. On top, they're looking up general. They've got the silence. Ramses is falling very low, though. He's out of one charges as well. Ramses has got to be careful. One oh more touch would do. Ooh, he's lucky there wasn't a sentry down there. He'll come back in, look towards general, should get it with the bug. Oh, oh, general lives 20 HP. Now it's oh, the bottom. Lil, Lil's looking for the cleanup, and Lil will get it. Get some. Cost him his life, though. And as you say, elsewhere, Ramsey's did good. Oh, Dendi got the ice bath. Dendi got him. No, he got him with oh. an auto attack. Oh, okay. And bottom solo is getting chased. It's a bloodbath. What the heck is going on? There's, this kills everyone. Now Pasha looks for Roger. Oh. Finds him. Easy peasy. Crystallize has to get out of there. Pasha looking for the run that. Crystallize should be fine. Get nine to six, ten minutes in. And these kills happen everywhere. And for a majority of reason, there's... This is getting crazy, this game. Overall, Na'Vi. Oh, bottom. Oh. They actually catch him with the Lil rolls in, gets the stun silence, and Pasha heal bomb. Poor observer. I'm so sorry. This is just. There's just kills everywhere. General back in on this top. Too hard to keep track. It's too much going on. Look up for the smoke up. To the wards. The RV are aware this Dendi has the minus complete minutes here for this mid AA. Yeah, great timing. The. Talents on AA are pretty nice now too. They've changed a little bit. Spell lamp at 10 is very high, 10%. As a core, he'll probably take that one over the GPM to 60. No one. Careful. He does see Seneca with the ward. Seven now. They need Ramsey pretty much to bail them out. Ramsey's in Pasha to bail no one out of this bad situation. No one is just still really suffering. Gonna be almost getting caught up here by Lil on the Earth Spirit. Chrono is ready. No one's hunting. No one will be a good kill. They can get that Chrono. Just like has to get it straight out. Well, no one just doesn't get a chance to react there. Everything. And then on the block. Up top, General. We're gonna take him down as little and Ramsey's do move in. The TP's coming through. Solo and Ramsey's trying to go for more. They're looking towards Snaker. Snaker backing up towards the tower. Roger comes in with the tombstone. Snaker getting chased down. Will be taken out by Ramsey's who has the time lapse. Heads back over Roger. Will get the deny on the tombstone. Really? Solo, they're looking for more. Roger trying to taunt his way out of this one. Pops the stick charges. Thorif as well, but it's not gonna be enough. BP find a third on this top lane. Solo with the grave. Feet does kick in the creep hammer and enter, and they'll lose the dazzle. But look at the aggression for BP. Dendi being gone upon. Dendi will fall. Ramsey's still alive. He's gonna vote so many of these kills. Can they punish this man? Yes, they can. They will get the kills, Navi. But it's getting very messy. That is the defusal blade complete on Weaver with those large amount of kills that Ramsey's managed to get involved in up top. Things getting up. A little crazy, and, and the Weaver certainly stepping it up. Ramsey's is definitely going to say that uh, BP needed. They need him to have a big impact, and having a defusal blade at this time will certainly allow that. It's a yep. lot, lot of damage. He's got the mana break talent too, so it is a substantial amount that will be being, getting burned out for hit. Bottom 
Nico. This is how you can get no one back in. Getting him a nice kill. Don't take it little. Thank you. No one's probably no one is probably like, I need this. Don't take this from me. And he's got the bail finished up now in the Queen of Pain. So catching up still. Not quite there just yet, but yeah, as we see on the replay, Roger, Jukin and Jivin. Then he's gonna be going for the rush four step. Need some kind of saving mechanic for himself. Because they do have ways to close the gap quite nicely on the side of VP with the Earth Spirit, with the Queen of Pain and Weaver. He has to still be careful getting bursted. They have eyes on Crystallize here. Can they combo him down? But that's the question. Ramsey's is up on the high ground with the vision, trying to look for the setup, but Lil's doesn't find the connection with the roll. He's in the silence, they're moving in deep. They've got good burst from no one. Swap's there from Snaker, but it doesn't matter. The big wave flies out from no one. They take down Crystallize. Ramsey's chases forward for more, and they'll take a second. Snaker falls. Roger's down here on his own. He has to be careful. There's four members of VP and VP. They're ready to chase down and find themselves another. Roger's surrounded. He's taken down. VP turning up the aggression. Ramsey's just going absolutely ham on this Weaver across the map. Move it around. There. That catches no one up so much. Getting the kill with the Sonic Wave. Getting involved in all those as well. He's now level 10. He has caught up to Dendi in that department. Still about a thousand gold behind, but that's a great way to get him back in the game. Ramsey's with this quick defusal blade purchase, not going boots or anything. I really like the decision here. The mana burn is going to be really significant versus Void in the upcoming fights. With that mana break talent on top. Solo level 7. Lil level 8. Pasha now going at drums. So he can go in the early yeah. game items to make sure that his team can go for these fights. And they're grouping up. But oh, that's around here. And I think... Ice Blast, okay, no one, just get the blink off, Rafael is there, that would be a save him, now Dendi's the one in trouble, GA comes out from BP, they're trying to move in onto Dendi, Solo gets the Grave out in time, they've lost Roger on Na'Vi, Dendi trying to retreat, Ramsey's, did he get anyone off the back of this? What's this Kuki, Sergi, oh, no one jumps in, he's found the kill, he will pay with his life, but it sets up for success for Ramses, he cleans up another, the silence is there, onto Crystallize, the mana break, bringing him down low. Look how much, do, do, you see how much mana burn yeah. it is? He it's gets crazy. down to 70 mana so quickly. Courier did get picked off in the back lines from General. But no one, you can see how bloodthirsty he really is. He just commits all the way onto Dendi there to get that kill. Even though he pays with his life. And look at the aggressive warding by VP too. They really want to just keep this aggression going with their lineup. They know there's only like one disable on the side of Navi either. Well, Two, as you could say, the Chrono Spear being that one disable and the Bench Stun being the other. Elias has Chrono at the ready. They're looking to set up onto Ramses in the top lane, while bottom also General gets gone on. They jump in with the dagger, make that run down from Pasha, and no one, there's no chance. Stunning Crystallize top, the Chrono comes out, oh, Ramses gets brought down. That's a big bottom That is the bug that's been causing quite a few issues for Navi. That's mine. Takes it. Does this swap back though? Just imagine Mr. the cold feet. <laughs> that hate screen basically will save him, and it does. With the stick charges, Lil does still get out of it. And they get themselves bottom tower now. Has fallen. the last hit, but no one is. Yeah, six, only 600 gold now behind Dendi. And Ramsey's is the big kill though that Nobby was able to claim in that top screen. Still leading the net worth for 70. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 35 kills, 16 minutes. My favorite. Episode. I mean, it's classic. To two here, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't expect anything else. We're running at each other. Crystallized with the battlefield. Shadow Blade next to the tower. Get that catch. Yeah, nice aim set that too from his teammates. It is being watched by VP, but they just can't make any punishing move. They're just trying to. Threaten mid because that Chronosphere is on Radiant's cooldown and they have her spirit ultimate ready, so DP a little bit more ready to fight at the moment than Navi is. And they just want to try to take advantage of that. Oh, Crystallize! Hello! He's gonna try and fight this one. Ramses went in for it, but I'll tell you what, Ramses, he's getting spot back. The pass over's there from the Ice Blast and he's made a grave error. Yeah, they have two sentries down there. Two quick, quickly placed ones by Sinego. Radiant's middle tower under attack. It is Dyer's finished. Top but General, does attack. Uh, no, one have, no one has it's the Yule's Oh, has he got, he's actually got out. Yeah, he actually has that save mechanic versus uh, Prophet. But now that's two back-to-back -back deaths on Ramses, who is having yeah? 
I mean, he was the rock for the team. He's slipping. Slipping a bit, yeah. And look at this, yeah. Crystallize now up there, second highest. And as we said, with that Battle Fury build, if they can keep this pace, Na'Vi, the farm is going to be much better for them. And Jenner, he's found a catch. Could the Orc is straight away. Solo's taken down out of the mid lane. And they can get the push on mid. Easy tier one tower for Na'Vi. Things are not looking smooth selling at all for VP. They need this win. They want to sort of keep the, the chance of getting to land in their hands. And Navi trying to take the fight around the rush pit. They have level 4 tombstone. They've got Kornos already. VP does have everything ready as well. It's a pretty tough place for them to take the fight. If you look at the map at Navi's wards, they have countries and wards everywhere. Yeah. The board has been absolutely the bugs in, they'll see that Roche is low. Can they actually get in, Lil? He's going forward, trying to disrupt this attempt from Navi. Crystallize back in the pit, really wants to finish off, and he will. Navi get the Aegis, they pick it up on the boy. Crystallize, Chrono down, catches two, turns towards Lil on the Earth Spirit. Will get the one kill, can he get the second? Pasha getting bashed up instantly, but he finds the chance to purify. Time walk from Crystallize across Ramses. Ramses trying to man up with the Pasha through. TA and time that's keeping Ramses alive. Turn towards Roger, and now with no one coming back in, they're able to overwhelm the side of Na'Vi. Despite Crystallize having that Aegis, he has the Shadow Amulet. Do they have detection? I don't think they do. They've got AoE, though. They're clarity up on no one now, too. He's got the Scream of Pain in a second. Chris He's going to have time. What, can he not? I mean, yeah, the Blink's going to be there for no one. Chris... He's dead, for sure. He's making them work for it, though. I mean, he is. He's got another time warp. <laughs> there we go. No one will have it. It's just Oh, okay, so that actually gets it with a heal bomb. Well, that was they're fine again. very nicely executed there by Lil. Jumping in, catching the multi-hero, silence and stun. And then Dendi gets pushed out of the fight and doesn't really have too much mana to walk back in. That's huh? the thing about AA. When you are playing core or support, after you throw your ulti, your job is pretty much done. You throw a couple cold feats and a couple actions, but walking into the side of VP is pretty hard with just right clicks. Here we see that nice double silence by Lil. Spreads the magnetized afterwards too. And Dendi has to run from the fight because of Ramses in general dies so early on. Colonel catches too, but the big important target, Pasha, survives and keeps Ramses healthy to keep fighting. A golden thread. Ramses has cued BKB next. Really needs it, but that one gets general. Finds him. Oh, he's found the pick off. He's got the sprout. The ice blast means there's no chance for a TP out. Ramsey's down. Very nice catch and set up in general. Yeah. Very, very strong map. The ice blast taking down anyone at this stage of the game. Core is on Navi still. Just a bit ahead in the core is a VP, but the support's on VP are a substantial amount ahead of the support to Navi because of the wards, I think, that they've been having to buy. The wards and the sentries being placed everywhere, they do, they do end up adding up to Nico. Not really having too much money to work with, and the same thing with Roger. I like what Patch is doing as well. He's, he's, the itemization master, he's got the lowest for his team. They absolutely need it, the way that we've seen General making these sort of pick-offs. Ramsey's coming up just yet. They really need him to be able to pick his fight. This could be if VP overstep the market. We'll see if Navi want to reveal anyone that shows general, but he just came out from Solo. Behind him, yeah. Solo's actually coming up with the wrap round from behind. Crystallize, looking for a target. They've got the silence on Jalil. No one jumps forward. VP can't fight this now. They have, they're they're split fight. up so awkwardly. They've come into this fight from all angles, and I don't think that's a good thing to do with their lineup. Sure, they're, they're trying their best to not be caught by a five man chrono. Solo getting ran down here by Crystallize now. With a TP in from General, cutting him off. Another successful catch for Na'Vi. If, if Lil doesn't get some great spells off, then the fight's just completely over there for VP. He got he rolled in, dropped the stone, and got forfeited up instantly by General. So that high ground vision that Na'Vi had really was paying off. Look at this sort of catch they've got now. Both Shadow Blades on General and Crystallized. So Shadow Blade into Orchid, Shadow Blade into Chronosphere. A lot of things that VP have to be very careful about when coming out. Radiant's bottom tower. Great catch. Indeed. General. Get eyes on him on passion. Keep him hidden. Shrine. Nice Still has Chronos here during all these two. Yep, didn't need to use it. BKB next and Shadowblade BKB. That, that's exactly what Crystallite needs. The damage 
is not really an issue. If he hits the Chrono and they can follow through with an Ice Blast, just an Ice Blast and a Decay, it just has such crushing effect. Beautifully done. They oh, like the is there, Pasha, making the plays, buying Solo a second chance. Crystallized still shadow bladed up. He's using the perfect chrono. He'll jump forward. This has been opportunities to hold on to it for now. Grabs in with the BKB, turning towards Snakeo. Stole rip. Not going to be enough to keep Snakeo alive. The Snakeo will still go down. Crystallized gets the bash up. Oh, he pops the chrono. Only gets one though. Can he actually get the kill with this? I don't know if he can. Mill's still alive. Purification comes through from Pasha. Now be there crumbling. They'll lose Crystallize as well. Roger's trying to get himself out of here. They did manage to kill Ramsey's. In fact, the, the clap takes down Dazzle. Roger does clean up two with him, but overall it's VP finding the favorable numbers. They take down four. They only lose two. Crystallize only getting that he just chrono did, on one yeah, target. It yeah. wasn't the chrono he was hoping for. Ramsey's, I think, underestimated how much damage he was going to take from uh, Ice Blast un under Ice Vortex and Undying. The uh, Flesh Golem amplifying the damage. He had time lapse ready, Radiant gets hit by Ice Blast, and just wasn't able to use it. It was too much damage to react to. But yeah, great fight by BP, just jumping in. No one getting a really nice Sonic Wave in the back line to Uncle Dendi. And on to General, cleaning up that Nature's Prophet right away. And again, that was Lil able to get the spells off because of this survivability from Pasha. 24 to 27, 51 kills. Only a 1k gold advantage for Navi, and it's now a 5k experience light. Uh, 5k experience advantage. Oh, we're only 24 minutes in. Yeah. This is scary crazy. Build for uh, no one. What's he? He's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. He's gonna Given some sort of protection if he if he does get caught in that corona. He's recovered yeah. quite nicely to be honest. So he's level 17 to a level 15 AA, and the AA went for the uh, Midas too. So. And this but, AA, you know, this is fine. No, X and AA are doing bad. You know, Dendi's 6, 2, and 12 on the range. Radiance bottom tower. He's having a great game. Yeah. Yeah. It just goes to show him how well no one's keeping himself composed despite being put severely behind in the in the learning stage. They really focused on it. Game. Lil's been having a really good performance on the Earth Spirit, though. He's really the standout of the setup for fights for his team. It has to be as his Earth Spirit. Some aggressive wards placed out for VP. They claimed themselves a tier 2, and now they're looking for another engagement. They're ready for Navi. They really need this BKB on Crystallize, though. So he can feel a bit safer and land better in front of the well. top barracks are under attack. So many trains top. They're punishing this train. Ah, to crystallize in the mid lane. He's found a bit of a catch indeed. Ramsey's straight up is just one hero, but it's a big one. Taking the Weaver out of the game. The Lotus Hawk's there from Pasha, buying Solo a second charge. GA comes out, and now Navi will be forced back. Ramses buys back, looking to find the catches. General will be able to get out. They do lose Roger. They didn't get the melee axe, but I think Navi, they're still fine with that one. Oh, so they could have that one. Go down as well. 1v1 me, son. Oh, watch out with that courier, boys. They're just taunting him with the courier, and Snaker taunts himself to the grave. So they do lose two, but they did get Ramses to buy back. And if they can do any sort of big play within the next six minutes, as we still like that, get a chrono onto him, take him out of the game. Defending 4v5 is not going to be easy for VP. So no. now we can just settle, wait for the chrono back up, and look to abuse that. That could end up being pretty, pretty monumental. But for Navi this game. Yeah. And we've been talking about how Navi doesn't really have the greatest amount of the table just with Venge and Chronosphere. They actually they found Dendi here. Yeah, the stun comes Dendi out. just getting destroyed by the damage from Ramsey. Hey, Bob. So Lil actually went for Orchid, by the way. Okay. Oh, and, um, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, you mean uh, no one? Oh, no one. Sorry. Tower. He's hate. Um, yeah, so we were talking about how Navi doesn't have the crazy amount. It's a really dependent on Lil for these fights. He's all their disabled on the side of VP. A lot of the weight. Oh, hurry up. What's that going on? TPs. Trip. TPs. Time to wrap, boys. They ain't got TPs. Lil's hunting, though. Oh, bye. Generous. Lil's hunting. bottom. Ramsey's. Quick time off away. BKB will be finished with Crystallize now, too. Dendi's AA, 8-2 in lifetime game. One of his two losses was against Fogged. Hell oh, yeah. You beat the Dendi AA, Fogged. We take those. Thank you, Nox, for once you're not blaming me.
You beat then the AA. I think I was playing mid versus him what? too. You beat him know. in a mid? What were you playing? I have, dude. I have no idea, man. Can we get the stats? We need I don't. To I don't want to know. We're focusing on the game. There's things this more important. This is relevant to the. There game. are things much more important. Crystallize has BKB finished. The seeds of fortune. Sunico with Glimmer Cape now. He's got a save, and Dendi has the hex finished. After that minus four stat. Fog was. You were, oh, you support you. Can, Oh, there we go. There's the oh, player. there it is. Hell yeah. 1105. I did my job. What the hell it is, folks? Here we go. Crystallize comes in. Crystallize and said, will jump forward. Ooh, Chrono on the biggest target. Finds the Packer Omni Knight. Ice Blast is in. Can he get out of this one? No, he can't. He's next up. Taken down. BKB's not by Crystallize. Looks out back towards Ramsey's. The time duration kicks in. BKB's out there for Ramsey. He's manning up on Dendi. Dendi getting saved. With the Glimmer Cape and the Force out, what a play from Na'Vi. They keep Dendi alive. There's four dead on the side of VP. What a fight indeed for Na'Vi. That, everything just went perfect there for them. And now, Ramses is down for 60 seconds. He does not have buyback. So and General, no one. no one's got the Yule Cap there. So he should be fine. And uh, indeed will be able to just run himself away from Dyer's it, as it were. General. <laughs> Immediately regrets the decision. Oh. No one clears the creep wave out with Sonic. Now we have it for the fight. That is going to be upcoming in the next 40 seconds or so. Navi going to press onto the high ground here. It's not looking good for VP. Yeah, and that was, I thought, was that the first fight that reveals his hex as well? I think first fight he reveals hex and yeah. also the reveal of the BKB on Crystallize. And I believe the Plume came too. Saved him. Yeah, that saved him. Very nice from the teammates. And now Navi, they're pushing down mid. VP are on the verge of losing this series 2-0. As far as I'm aware, this does indeed put their, their hopes of a land sort of gone the game tomorrow out of their control. Yeah, and it would be Navi would be succeeding in getting to the major if they do win this one. But this guarantees Navi has fought the major. You think so? Oh, shit. Navi. They're looking really good too here. 8k advantage now. I mean, they're, they're, they're playing. And this game, we've not had any, uh, you know, rebuying, reselling of Orchids. This is through and through. GP playing without any sort of issues no internet issues this game of course as well and, and Na'Vi are doing it they are they're coming out on top sure VP can still turn it around but it's getting very hard with the lead that Na'Vi is getting and the heroes that they have this void is going to be an absolute nightmare at all stages of the game for a core weaver and a core quad Roger, but it's much more than Roger. Jump down, Only catches one. Braves out as well from Solo. Buying time now from Minifon for the Ice Blast connects onto no one, though. No one is down. Ramses gets the chance to time now. He's ready for round two. No one's actually going to buy back as well. Wanting to get involved in this fight. Crystallized with the BKB. Chasing it down Lil. Hits down the earth for a jump forward. Looking for more. They've got the silence onto Ramses. Ramses is down as well. Double kill for Dendi. And Ramsey's again down for a minute. And Roche is up now. Perfect timing for Na'Vi. In they go to the pit. Can VP contest this at all? I don't know if they can. No way. It's much, much too risky for them to even try it. And no one had bought back in that one too. This is... Looks like it might be the end here for VP. Mid's in. Oh, he does, but he it, gets the cheese. He does get the cheese, but, but he's, he's hexed up, and he ain't got a chance to swallow the cheese as a pick. 90 His seconds. can't grab that cheddar. 90 seconds, no clean. Oh, boy. GG. They just call it. Nah, B, ladies and gentlemen, they take the series 2-0. They do it. VP are down and out. I'm sure the panel will be able to explain, but as far as I'm aware, this means that VP's future is in the hands of the games tomorrow. Out of their hands, and Na'Vi, does that win? Poor AA, they made it work Dendi again. AA, they, they pull it out at times of need, and it absolutely pays off. Overall, though, just great teamwork from Na'Vi. We saw some, some really nice play from Roger as well. Didn't miss the DKs, that's for sure. In the mid lane at the start, yeah. great harassment onto no one, and it just shut down Quab. No one made a great recovery, he but did. the fact that he had to, to put so much effort in to do so meant that he was always going to be behind for that, that sort of first part of the game and uh, crystallize as well. Didn't necessarily hit the biggest of chronos, but like just the, just the little ones, like just the, the chrono on the solo weaver. Yeah. Things like that add up and, and win you the game. They got the big ones that matter, yeah. right? The, those type of kills on VP. But yeah, I think, I mean, Roger just sitting in that mid lane, giving Denny the like, 
incredibly good performance versus yeah. Quap. And yeah, overall, just I mean, General too. General was super farmed on this Nature's Prophet, able to make so much space. He made VP's life just super hard. And yeah, just like that, I think Navi has made it. Panel? What's your panel? Can we confirm? confirm. Is Navi confirmed? Yay! Confirmed indeed.